calling all the long feet, flat feet, leaning feet, wide feet, big feet. Am I missing anybody else's feet? All the feet that can't get right, honey, come on to the front. Come on to the front. Hurry up, run, come on. This one for you. Hey, boo, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome, girl. So I had a few people them who said, would you mind doing a Shein sandal haul or a summer sandal haul or whatever? And I'm like, you know what? You're right, you're right. You can't have summer and not do a damn sandal haul, honey. So of course I went to doing my investigating chat. Call me Miss Inspector Gadget. And I came across some shoes or some sandals that I personally like and wanted to bring them to you. Now we're gonna figure out together if they are appropriate for our type of feet. Your girl is a size 10. Most of the time I order my shoes in a size 11 or 10.5. I'll be sure to have all the links to these items, size that I got the shoe in, my coupon code, honey. All the tea will be pinned down in the comments and found in the description box. Girl, you already know I got you. I got about 14, I think. I can't really remember, but it's a lot of them. So I don't want to make this intro long, but I am going to ask you to go ahead and thumbs up this video because I already know you're going to like it. And if you're new here, well, hello, welcome. I really hope this is not going to be your last time stopping by. And boy, if you is coming back, give me some. <laughs> That's why I'm with you. All right, so we're going to call these first ones uh, Big Bird, Ostrich. Come on, baby. Give me some more people with feathers. <laughs> Allergies. I started trying them on. The first thing I realized was that these feathers hide the toes. So, sis, if it's one of them days when you forgot to go and get your damn toes done, your pedicure, or take the polish off. These right here be hot and all of that, honey. You can't even see the damn toes. I also like that these feathers don't look cheap looking like. You know what I'm saying? Like this look like they went and, and hand picked them directly from whoever they got them from. See, they have them in different colors. I did realize though that the straps are not long. So you can't take them all the way up to the calf or your, your kneecap. They won't go that far, sis. They really don't. They don't go that far. They are flat, flat as can be, honey. Your girl is very flat-footed. I'm talking about extreme. My podiatrist even told me I need to stay away from shoes like these, but I just can't help it. These ain't got nail support, child. Nail support. Now, this dude got a little jingling, jingling here, a little bell hanging and dangling. I immediately, when I seen it, now, you can't really hear nothing, but I started thinking about Christmas. I even started thinking about cat. You know, like when a lot of times... The cat owners put a bell on their cat because they be round here. Oh, even tea time, child. But, you know, you're trying to keep up with the cat. Yes, and you need to hear where they come. That's what I thought of that when I seen these. I thought these are very, very cute, very stylish. These are a size 43. And for the most part, they did what they were supposed to do. Now, they got this denim trend going. I've been seeing so, of course, I had to get my hands on a denim pair. Now, I really like these. They have, like, this denim fridge or distressing, kind of like when you get some jeans. Very cute replica of a pair of jeans, honey. And I like that they had the dark jean with the light jean. You know what I'm saying? I also like that the back got the grippers, child. So, we ain't going to be around here falling, busting our ass all over the floor. I can say, however, that it's shitting, honey. It is shitting. I don't know how long our fringe going to be fringing. You see what I'm saying? Honey, if somebody looking for me, I'd be leaving a trail. They can just follow the damn trail. That's the only thing I can say that I did not like about these. But other than that, they're very flat, true to size. And they were pretty comfy for the most part. I do like the shape of this around here in the toe part. So it gives you a little bit more space for us wide feet people. These are cute, girl. Get these. And they even got a purse to match. They got a hat to match. Yeah. Next shoe is these in here. Now, I, I see we making a, a comeback, honey, uh, it, uh, the pom-poms. Now, when I think of pom-poms, I don't know about you, but I think of clowner, okay? It just automatically, I just feel like this is some shit you'll find on a clown outfit. I love shoes that have all the colors mixed and matched like this, so you can just take one pair on a trip and wear about four, five, six different dresses with one pair. You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to pack lightly, these come in handy. These are that straw type of feel, which I really like. I don't really too much like how fringe it is, though, here. Like, I, it should have been a little bit more uniform, more... It kind of just looked like they threw it all over the place. Just was like, just him, him. You know what I'm saying? Almost like when we just wake up and don't comb my hair, just get on up and just go out there in them streets. That's kind of like what this is giving. I wasn't expect. I thought it was going to be a little bit more tame. Another thing I didn't like about these was that it made a little noise. You know, like when you get syrup on the floor and them damn kids don't clean it up. Okay. Then you get to going and walking in the kitchen and you hear, 
I don't, I can't even make the noise, child. But it just sounds like some sh it's sticky on the damn floor. That is the noise that these makes when you walk. But I mean, if you out of town somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, it's going to be noises as hell. Ain't nobody going to hear you coming. Next shoe is these in here. Now, I did get some earrings from Shein. It has like these little, it's like a flower type style. So when I see these, I'm like, ooh, that'll be pretty cute together, right? I feel, though, they should have put these down here as well or some other color flowers down here instead of this little fringe uh pride month thing here that they got going on they're very comfy inside true to size it's not as hard as some of the other flats it's a little bit more cushion or support just a tad bit more which i can appreciate the straps are pretty comfy and suitable for wide feet people they weren't tight and you had to force yourself um i don't know are they giving childlike vibes I don't know. I just thought that these was cute and would go perfect with the earrings. So that's why I got them. And these are a size 42, whatever the hell that is. But I have it on the screen. My next pair are these zebra print shoes. Now, we can't go into summer and not play in print. I mean, I feel like in any season, you cannot go into it without playing in print. Lately, my print of choice have been zebra. I'm going to forever be a leopard print girl, though. Don't you forget it. I feel like you can wear like a basic dress, like hot pink or something, and then throw in some zebra child. You know what I'm saying? A zebra purse, zebra slide, something like that. The material here is giving tissue. Like I need to blow my nose. You know what I'm saying? Like if I need to kind of, it's giving toilet paper, tissue. Not charming though. You know, charming a little softer. It's giving that little crusty rough. But it's like some type of paper. It's definitely papery vibe or something tissue paper or something i can't put my hands on it love how thick it is so it's taking up quite a bit on your foot which i like that got a little tiny bit of cushion just a tad bit not much but so, so, come, come, come on because I, I got a bone to pick with you now why the hell you ain't telling me to go and add a little lotion on my big toe and my pinky toe i think the back of my heel too child it was just a little just an ashy go after I looked at the clip back, I said, you know, let me go add a little some, some, some jerkins to the feet. But girl, you should have told me. You should have told me. Well, anyway, child, I'm saying this so nobody else ain't got to come in the comments and say because you know people be lurking just to find anything wrong, child. Anything. Supposed to be looking at the shoes and they looking at your toes, child. Next time, though, I'm going to need you to let me know. Like, I keep it real with you, baby. Keep it real with me. Okay? Now, these, honey, one thing about me, I'm going to always get me a jazzier pair of shoes the razzle dazzle yeah we call them these razzle dazzle honey now, these are these shoes that if you want to kind of add a little oomph to a look you know take it up a few notches you wear something like this you ain't gotta wear no heels who said you gotta put on heels get you some sandals they got all the razzle dazzle now this material here is that hard type of material you can't really wear these too long because it'll definitely give you little aches and pains at the bottom but but they cute to look at and the clear strap here i feel like over time it'll dig in your skin too it's not as comfy and i don't know what kind of glue hopefully they use some resin child or something that that's gonna really hold these down and not just no little dollar tree super glue because then they'll be popping all off and once they start coming off it ain't gonna look as good because i have some ones like this already and i done lost a few charms on them they're really cute though they're true to size and i think that i probably would get another pair of these just to have an extra child so when the stones start doing what they do I have back up. Now I have been eyeing these since I have been eyeing these for a little while. And they come in different colors. Like the bottom will have like a lime green, a purple. It's a different color on the bottom part, and then kind of different colors that goes around the scrap. Now these gonna be honest with you, sis. Wide feet girls. You gotta you gotta kinda you gotta kinda force your feet up in here. It's, it's definitely really, really tight. It ain't giving no give. I'm saying all that to say that if you see my foot hanging off the back, it's really because I couldn't hardly scoop my foot all the way up to the top of the shoe properly, positioning. Because it's not really that great of a shoe for the wide feet community. Colors, though, the colors are gorgeous. Let me bring it up, child. Girl, it's even mention my hair a little bit. It's mentioning the weed. It's giving spice and everything nice. But if your feet is a little bit more slimmer, narrower, this this will be the shoe for you. I do like that this one have a little bit more cushion. Child, touch it, feel it, rub it. You feel that? It's a little bit tad more cushion, just a little bit now. Not too comfortable now, not like a little pillow. It's really the colors for me. It's really the colors, but if you got wide feet, honey, take these out your card. 
I'll give you a few minutes to go ahead and take it out your car. Now the next shoe, honey, I like these, I like these, but honey, soon as I went like this, you know how you just drop your shoes, your sandals on the floor to put them on, you, ain't bend, you don't bend down and sit them down, but you literally just, you know, let them go down to the floor to put them on. Honey, the damn bow just flew off, just flew all the way off. The construction is very poor. Now I could, I could, I guess, glue it down. Look at that glue that they using. That's probably that same glue they using on them, them stones too, child. So see what I mean? That, that's that glue that don't last too long. Yeah, I could go in there and fix it and do, but why should I? When I paid my money, honey, I want my shoes to come good in functional condition, honey, not me having to operate on it. Well, they think I am Marvin Gaye and sexual healing, child. Let me come up so you can get into like the quality. Do you see that? It's giving like a road vibe or like, um, what well, what's the other one? Like, like bedroom slippers. You know that that type of material, that feel? That's what it's giving. I love it. it the details for me. It's just, it's definitely the details for me, honey. I would have ran and got these in all colors, but now I'm a little scared. I'm scared that they may not hold up on my damn truck. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here in these streets, and they're saying, you know, my boat falling out in, in Walmart somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And sis behind me, like, sis, your, your, your boat on the floor. Sometimes people don't even tell you, child. They just look. I don't want that for me or you. I love how it feels against my feet. Very comfortable. It's a cute shoe, just not really great construction. Now, another thing that's trending this season seems to be a lot of that crochet look. A lot of the crochet look. Uh, they got the crochet bags, the crochet hats. So now they got the crochet like shoes. And I thought that was really cute. I definitely am planning on getting one of those hats. I love that this one was wide feet friendly meaning that it was very spacious up in here so if your feet is wide leaning you know the one against the lean this shoe is pretty good for that this shoe is pretty good for that but it's different crochet colorful pieces so you have this type of color it almost look like the shoe don't even match each other but i love that it has the variety so you can wear it with anything i've been eyeing these and i actually got these specifically for some earrings that i got i mean and the earrings match is spot on this does have that scroll type of look once again it's the fringe look it does make that damn noise that like i stepped on some syrup that stickiness that and I don't really want people to know I'm coming. I don't know. Do y'all know what the hell you can do to make that not make that noise? I don't even know what causes it. I do know that it's that material is a little bit more comfy. It makes it a little bit more comfy with that in the shoes. It's cute, but I'm warning you now. You gonna hear the noise. Wide feet community report to the front. These are for you as well. Do you see how much? Just look at it. Look. Look how wide this is in the front. It is so cool. Like I put my shoe, my foot in there. No type of force just went in with ease. I love how these also kind of gives like a luxe feel. So if you don't want to wear any heels and you're trying to want to jazz up a look, put these on. I just love how spacious these were, how comfy they were. They did make the sticky noise though. That's the only bummer about these. Why they do the wide feet people? It's already bad enough that our feet long, wide, you know, all, all lean and all this extra stuff. Now you want to put it on display so they have to look down at your feet. Like why they do us like that? Regardless, I'm still going to put them on. I will. I will. <laughs> these are the last ones of the flats. And these are like, uh, what do you call these? Um, lime green. These are another ones that gave very luxe vibes. Like, you know, any type of like this whole satin type of feel. That's like the other ones as well. Like a silky, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it just amps up the look. It's not just basic bitch vibes. It's luxe bitch vibes. And I heard a lot of y'all is on y'all luxe like life or whatever, soft life, whatever the hell they be saying, child. I don't know what they be talking about, but okay. Like that it already sets up with the shoe tie running shoe that you could just put your foot in so you're not confused. Them orange ones, the feather ones, you know, you put them in and you got to figure out that you can start from the back or the front. See this one here, you just put your foot in it and it already positions your foot you know what I'm saying? And you just wrap it around. The strap is longer, so you can take these up to the kneecap if you like. I don't know if they'll stay there, but you can take them up if you like. It's a lime green color, and I think they're coming off lime green, but they're not as lime as I thought they was going to be, or am I tripping? I, th I thought it was going to be that like, bright lime. Like I, I mean, it's giving that, but I don't know. I just feel like these are perfect for print. So if you wear like a zebra print whatever with black top and then you put on some lime shh, you know what i'm saying bring it on out with the lime like these and they're comfortable they're spacious they're wifey friendly honey i love everything that these are giving especially for it to be a flat 
sandal, honey. I heard that some of y'all are not as tall as I am. If you're new here, your girl is 5'10", part of the standing game. Gang, gang. Now, I don't mind wearing a heel, but they have to be comfortable. They have to support my big ass, okay? So, I did get my hands on three heels. The first ones that I'm going to talk about is these in here. Now, I thought these are really, really cute. I feel like a platform, you could never go wrong. The details in the shoe are really, really cute. They're giving, what was the name of the shoes? Bottega? I think Bottega is, is some designer that is give that type of look with the details like this. If you're looking for the height, if you're looking for the comfort, these are those. Like, I literally felt like I was just walking regularly, just taller. <laughs> this type of heel would definitely support the, the plus size community, child, and that matters. We do not need to be rumbling and tumbling out there in, 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 in them streets. We do not. They were true to size. The green is very vibrant and giving. These are really, really cute. And I think they look really bomb on my foot. I personally just would always gravitate towards a flat shoe. I just like comfort. You know what I'm saying? I like to be as close as possible to the goddamn ground. And I got these in a size 10. Okay, so sus, let me ask you a question. Let me see if you really know me, child. What's my favorite color? If you said purple, you was right. So when I seen these, I was like, ooh, I got to get my hands on them. A uh, cold, clear, purple. Girl, get into the heel, though. Get into the heel. Get into the heel. Do you see the heart-shaped heel? These are bomb. These are bomb, but Lord, did you see how the hell I'm walking? Do not laugh at me, honey. I ain't gonna lie. Even during the try on part, I was laughing at my own damn self. I literally was walking like a drunk woman. You would have thought I done had five to ten shots of margarita. What 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 the lady say? One margarita, I'm gonna open my leg. Give me two margaritas, I'm gonna get in some head. Whatever she was saying, child. You would have thought I had five margaritas. Okay. How I was just a wobbling. These do not support the plus size big body gals. Okay, I'm a big body beans. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, a lot of y'all that watch me are too, and we looking the good, good. But baby, when a shoe can't support you, it just can't support you. This is definitely for the Slim Gems, okay? Or somebody who is an expert at walking. This also is that type of, uh, that will kind of dig in your skin, honey. It will dig in your skin. I don't like that. So cute, and the purple is spot on. It's not too damn eggplantish is not too damn barney like or maybe it is maybe i'm lying right but honey i'm not finna girl to be leaning in these people's streets and everybody laughing at me just to be cute last hill child last hill i don't know what the hell made me i think it was the colors i seen the colors and i was like ooh, girl we gonna call these kaleidoscope honey it kind of looks like when you just throw some paint like a work of art okay and then you just kind of go like in with your finger or with your brush and kind of you see the style I'm talking about? Yeah. I love a block heel because normally a block heel supports the hell out of you. But honey, this this block ain't enough block for me. This block ain't blocking. Okay, I need a little bit more thick. I still was a little wobbly with these on, child. I, needless to say, I'm just not even with the, with the heels no more. I'm not. Honey, I was scared to let go of the couch as I was walking on the try on portion. I, mm -mm. But it has like the rhinestone here in the front the rhinestone details which i find is so cute and jazzy okay anything rhinestone is i love it it has a little clear strap here which i don't know how long that's gonna hold to us i ain't gonna even lie to you when i tell you my feet was really wanting to come all the way out to the outside of the shoe and say hello to you they were fighting to kind of like I'm holding them back. You might see them kind of folding up. You know what I'm saying? Like I got arthritis in the toes. Kind of like crumbling up a little bit because I was trying to force them to not slide the hell out the front of. And then they had this little thing here. And I don't know about you, but I don't like nothing in between the toe because baby is so uncomfortable. Why in between the toe be so uncomfortable? Especially with my feet sliding. And I'm fighting with the girl a mess. Hot ass mess. If you are the type that like to walk in them, they are really, really cute. I think the colors will go with so many like pink dress, blue dress, green dress. And then you bring out these colors in it and then have your accessories. I can see you now. I'm a little through you because I nail show lay on wham, child. I, mm -mm. And the heel just too damn high. Now, these are size 10. I would say that they were spot on with the sizing. I need more support in the heel and a little bit more comfort, child. Well, boo, we done came to the end of this haul. And you already know I want to know which item was your favorite. If you got a cart full of shein, whether it's 
sandals, clothes, household appliances, wigs, shower, whatever, Chad, accessories. Make sure you're taking advantage and using my coupon code to save you some coin. You're welcome. If you're new here, before you go, make sure you subscribe because I don't know why not. I don't know why you wouldn't. I know you felt them good vibes, Ty. Make sure you're thumbsing up this video that lets YouTube know that this video needs to be in the YouTube streets for everybody to see. And if you made it to the end of this haul, be sure to put this emoji down in the comments. But that's how I know it's real. If you don't say nothing else, okay, comment this emoji. Because when you commenting and you liking and you disliking, I don't know what to dislike though, child. And, and, and you interacting with me, that helps my channel. And I appreciate you for that. I want to thank you very much for taking the time out to watch my video. Until next time. Later.